All aboard! It's time to dance Story Train! Hello everyone! Hello Driver Dan! Which of our friends are we going to see? Which of our friends do you think it will be? Climb aboard and travel with me All aboard the Story Train yeah. All aboard the Story Train! Hey Twinkle, have you seen someone? Can you see who it is? It's pretty colours! Who is it? Is it Tallulah? I know, it's Precious! Well done, you were right! That was Precious! Now, where has she gone? Hi, Precious! Shh! Why are we whispering? I'm hiding. We have to be very, very quiet. Oh, found you! <laughs> oh, I've done it again. It's your bell. It gives you away every time. I know, I know. I just can't keep my tail still. We're playing hide and seek, Dan. Hip and I are really good at the seeking bit. <laughs> I'm really bad at the hiding bit. I'm good at the hiding bit too. No, you're not, Hop. I am. All right then, you hide next. Show us how good you are. OK. <laughs> Shut your eyes, everyone. Ready, Hop? Coming. Ready or not. I can't see her, can you? No, I can't see her anywhere. Where is she? Oh, she's good at hiding, isn't she? No, she's not. She's not. Look! <laughs> Found you, Hop! Oh! My belt is too noisy and your ears are showing. I think we'll have to hide more carefully next time, Hop. Yes! Let's play again. Your turn, Driver Dan. Oh, no, not me. How about we find someone new to join in? We still need another carriage for Story Corner. Good idea, Dan. Let's go on the story train. All in? All in, driver Dan. We're all ready. Are you ready too? Then let's go. All aboard the story train. All aboard the story train. Great! Looks like Twinkle has just spotted someone. I can't see who it is. Can you? That's a bit tricky, Dan. Is it a carriage? It's got corners. It doesn't look soft. It's the counting sheep. There they are. <laughs> well done, Twinkle. And well done you, too. I think one of the counting sheep should hide first, don't you? Shut your eyes, everyone. Are you ready, number one? sure they've quite got the hang of this. Number one's no good at hiding either. That makes three of us. Come on then, it's time to go to Story Corner. <coughs> What's the matter? Aren't you coming? <coughs> You've lost number five? Are you sure? <coughs> I know. Line up and I'll count you. <coughs> One, yes. Two, yes. Three and four, yes. Five, no. You're right. 
Five's not here. Oh dear, we can't go without him. <laughs> Wait a moment. I think I know what's happened. Number five isn't really lost. I think number five is hiding. It's his way of getting a turn. <laughs> We've looked in the sheep's carriage, driver Dan. He isn't hiding there. Thanks, Precious. So where would number five think of hiding? I wonder. Any ideas? Where do you think the littlest sheep might hide? I don't know. Is he behind the carriage? I can't see him anywhere. He's so little. You're right. He is very little. Hmm. Thanks for that. Precious, where would you hide if you were very little? Very little. Oh, I've had an idea. Oh, sheep! When I say jump, jump up in the air, OK? Jump! <laughs> <laughs> I was right! Number five was hiding inside number four! You're definitely the best at the hiding bit, number five! And now you're the best at the seeking bit, Precious! Well done, Precious and number five! Now then, who's for Story Corner? All in, no hiding sheep this time. <laughs> Everyone's ready, Twinkle. All clear from you. Are you ready too? Then let's go. All aboard the story train. All aboard the story train. We're going to have a story. I'd like one about being little. It might be about hiding. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Now where is it? Maybe it's hiding. Can you find one that number five will really like, Driver Dan? <laughs> Found you. Yes, I know just the book. Here it is. Is everybody settled down and ready to listen? I'm ready, Driver Dan. <laughs> and all of you, sitting down comfy and ready to listen? Ready, Dan. Yeah! Story time! This story is called I Can Do That, Said Jack. It was written by Vivian French and the pictures are by Kate Davies. Harry was feeding the rabbit. I can do that, said Jack. No, you can't, said Harry, and the dish was tipped over and broken. Ooh! <laughs> yes, oops. Alice was playing at picnics. I can do that, said Jack. No, you can't, said Alice, and everything slipped and slithered to the ground. Tilly was skipping up and down the path. I can do that, said Jack. No, you can't, said Tilly. And the skipping rope tangled all round his foot. Tom was doing wheelies on his skateboard. I can do that, said Jack. No, you can't, said Tom. And Jack fell down with a thump. Jack sat on the ground. I can't do anything, he said. Oh, poor Jack. Quick! shouted Harry. The rabbit's got out! I can catch him, said Alice. But she couldn't. And Tilly couldn't. And Tom couldn't. And even Harry couldn't. I can do that, said Jack. And he could. And he did. The end. Well, good for Jack. He did it. Yeah, I loved it when he got all tangled in the skipping rope. And I loved it when he was the best at catching the rabbit. Jack's a bit like number five, isn't he? He's good at doing something the others can't do. And now it's your turn. Which bit did you like best? It's time to show me the story. I'm a tiger on a skateboard. Look at me go. Look, I can skip. Skippity skip. I'm a skipping tiger. I'm skipping too. I'm a hopping rabbit. Hoppity hop, hoppity hop, hoppity hop. Hoppity hop. Hop, 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 Poor Jack. He looks so sad. The rabbit's loose. I can't see the rabbit anywhere. I'm looking over here. Hooray! Hooray we caught the rabbit! Hooray! Hooray!
That's great! You caught the rabbit just like Jack did! <laughs> Glad you enjoyed the story, everyone! But now it's time to go! All aboard! All aboard the story train! All aboard! All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> Bye everyone! It's time to go, but let's come back soon because we all love stories! Bye Driver Dan! Bye! Bedtime stories. I like noisy ones. Jungle stories are the best.